I think he's getting like, incinerated. incinerated. <laughs> he's oh. gonna be sent back, and then they're probably gonna incinerate him. But okay, because yeah, he talked about what you do with the dead, where he's from, and it was burn them. Yeah. I should definitely change the music then. <laughs> No, this is great. Yeah, honor. probably. <laughs> like, oh my god. It's definitely it's affecting my, my thoughts. <laughs> Chris just throws him a rave in his fucking, like, morgue room. Puts drugs in, like, everybody's drinks. Pops a pill in Senshi's dead mouth. You know? <laughs> fucking like, Senshi comes back <laughs> for a while. <laughs> He's just on a drug. Driller place. comes on. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. That would actually be hilarious. That's what I do. The Raven Queen, <laughs> Chris just daydreams if Senshi came back and it was Thriller. Definitely. That's, that's I, what I do. I don't really need to think about it. Uh, in, in Tavern Chat, this is what Sylvie's Sil uh, doing. Fuck, I dig it. <laughs> you dig it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh god, that's <laughs> so good. <laughs> it's fairly perfect. <laughs> she sends it back to Miss Troy, one down. <laughs> oh, shit. Wouldn't that yeah. be the shit if Lauren was just like, yeah, you can play with us, no problem. But I want you to murder each and every one of them without them figuring out that you're doing it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have Robert come in, botch the investigation. It'll be great. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. They have, they have difficulty, difficulty arguing with him. <laughs> she couldn't kill Tammy because we were all watching. <laughs> All right, on that note, um, everybody recording? Yep. I Beautiful. Uh, welcome back to episode 40 of The Hand of the Princess, self-titled Ships Ahoy. Uh, our intro today, you guys are essentially after you left the guard house after the investigation was over, it's kind of... In evening uh instead of being like led to a room or anything you guys are led to the hospital across the way sort of the back uh of the hospital you get to a room it's all very quiet and as you enter uh there's a single table before you and uh on top it is senshi's body it's been completely cleaned and it's been wrapped in thin strips of ribbon white or sorry linen white linen uh, with embossed red writing along its entire length of just like scriptures and things. Um, so he's completely concealed beneath this linen and you guys are given time to pay your last respects. I'll get some music. You all let in in a, in a row. You prepared something. Um, like I knew him for like a day, or a couple. What's the scene like? Do we just walk up to him? Yeah, yeah, it's also, just... yeah. Like we don't see anything, right? So it's like I walk up to his veiled corpse, and I like tip my beer sideways, like a. Live by the road, die by the road. <laughs> First of all, you have a beer. <laughs> yeah, of course do I do. Beer? I don't know. They just they just show up in my hand. <laughs> you know what? I'll follow suit. Thinking Chris knows what he's doing, and this is a custom of his people. I'll walk up behind Chris, and I'll pour out a little bit, and I'll just say, "You will be missed." Unfortunately, uh. There's no one to stand side by side with me in battle anymore. And I'll that, walk away. Sylvia will stand by your stand by your side without saying anything. 
she's just immediately like, thing. Uh, and I, I don't know if Tammy, you would like to sneak in kind of thing after they leave to do a goodbye. If you're listening. Say Tammy is conspicuously absent, but at some point there will be some flowers left on the grave. Nice. Wonderful. So after that, uh, we'll essentially do our time lapse that I talked about with all of you in chat that just to hold up. I want to talk about how Tammy didn't even come to Senshi's funeral when she was his best bro, apparently. Oh, that's true. So after you guys all go uh, to sleep at night, essentially, you wake up in the morning and beneath your door, because I don't know exactly where you would have slept and I don't really want to think about it. So Beneath your ambiguous door is left a note for you all to read. It is a handout made. You can take your time whenever to read it. And Sarah is here to answer questions. And then I figured, yeah, yeah in order to meet, make your meeting in, in Duroc in three days, it's a two-day travel. So you would have to leave by like the next day anyway. So we're just going to like hasten that experience. And happy adventure. And so you guys are all going to board the very familiar ship that you've come to know and love and lost people on. Oh, I love my music. This again. <laughs> uh, and before you all get on, you, you do notice that uh, Sky is staying a step back. Uh, and she doesn't board with you guys and she will tell you that uh, she's made the decision to stay behind and rebuild the orphanage. But you guys can either say your goodbyes or board the ship. He's not here tonight, so we can just fast pass. Who are we saying bye to? Scott. Scott. She's going to stay behind. Adam. We're saying yeah. bye to Adam. He'll be back in the future, but... Is Sky like officially leaving the hand of the princess running like is that a part of the goodbye uh i she's probably going to be like i don't think i'm worthy of it anymore but ultimately that's the princess's decision so, so she doesn't know uh so we'll be back really in like two three days Chris now. <laughs> and she's like I will look forward to seeing you again, Chris. Get me something nice from the bazaar. <laughs> oh, that's right. Um, uh, in the morning, you guys are summoned to the palace and the king gives you all sort of like a reward for helping out with the fire. Um, promising, of course, to rebuild it with much more integrity. And so you guys get 2,000 gold each. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> do, we, do I have time to deposit this at the Goblin Bank before I fucking haul this with me everywhere? Yes. Yeah, you do. Yeah, anything you want to get done, Sunder, like in that morning, uh, you can let me know now. Sylvie, I know we talked about uh, setting up Bartholomew to essentially run your t shirt business while you're away. <laughs> yeah. Bartholomew's going to run it? <laughs> Yeah, there's going to be a sign on him that says, no fighting, no stealing. So everybody immediately makes the uh, Miss Troy reference. And there's a sign that says, I don't know, how much do you want to sell them for a selfie? 13 gold each. <laughs> 13 gold pieces. Like Chris Peacock, Lexi Fox t-shirts. <laughs> what, what kind of like uh, marketing have we done so far? How many shirts are out there? Are they because they were selling them dirt cheap, so there should be lots out there that people are already wearing. This is, this is it, true. Does it like uh, both, both of, you, of you roll me a d100? Those for charity, we gave them the orphans for charity. <laughs> it's a good publicity stunt. Go ahead. Wait, it was a d100? Yes, please. Very good. So you guys sold 109 t-shirts so far. Ooh. At 13 gold or at the cheap <laughs> price? At the 10 silver, I think is what I had it. Oh. How many no. t-shirts did we get made, though? I thought we only had like 25. 
I thought you had like 300. There was like 300 in the works, but we only have like a starting amount. I think, I don't remember the amount though. Well, I'll take the win. <laughs> is it a win though? Is, <laughs> is really 10 a silver win. Richard a win? <laughs> it's still a couple hundred, like, cool pieces. It's still a loss of money. <laughs> wow, there's more coming. <laughs> it may have lost. I'm just going to send that silver to the orphanage or something. Beautiful. Okay, I'll make 300 t-shirts for you, so Bartholomew Mule will sell the remaining 200 and some. Wait, they actually sell? Yeah. Uh, one of the things that was going to happen in the Thieves Guild is you guys were going to actually see people wearing the t-shirts. <laughs> and there was going to be like an original Lexi Fox fan kind of thing, and his was going to be all like graffitied upon and shit. It was going to be cool, but... Graffitied? Yeah. <laughs> He lost respect for you as an artist, man. Ooh. Ooh. That's okay. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> True story. <laughs> but yeah, so if you guys want to like do anything like real quick to set yourself up for the journey, Matt, I assume you want to get your shit from Bartholomew? Yeah, at some point he comes rolling around. I'm like, hey, look, my stuff. <laughs> it's like an ice cream truck that sells overpriced shirts. <laughs> Yeah, he gets into the rich neighborhoods. Like, it'll be great. It's okay. Everyone wants to get into the good books, to get into the, the inn and the concerts that he holds. And there's already t-shirts everywhere. So now there's like the fear of missing out and everyone's got to buy t-shirts. It's great. Do people recognize the t-shirts? They're, they're specifically Lexi Fox brand ones. I know, but do they have your face on them? They do. They have that one shirtless image. If they have his face on them. <laughs> Are people gonna, like, if that's getting passed around Arendale? Yeah, and this is a very big hub for adventures. Like, go out uh, amongst the world. Yeah, I would definitely say this is gonna affect his stuff. Anonymity? That's a good word for it. I, I just wanna go to the bank. I, yeah. I'm pretty sure I had my weapon polished recently, so there's no I think so too. Um, how much money do you want to deposit in the bank? Uh, so we got 2,000 gold coins. Yes. Um, okay, apparently I'm holding on to 1,900 and I already have 2,100 in the bank. Can I yeah. deposit another 3,000? Yeah. So I'll have 5,100 in the bank and 900 gold on me. That is what I am keeping track of here. Okay. Uh, for this boat ride, will we be controlling the ship, or is are we just like catching a ride? Uh, it's gonna be a training montage essentially. Um, you won't be controlling like the map ship because I feel like that'll just be really chaotic. <laughs> um, it was just to have you guys be able to see, <laughs> because if I didn't do it, you couldn't see your token. Or the map, I guess. Um, real quick, Lauren. What's the conversion of silver to gold again here? Ten. Okay. Can I also convert my 1,100 silver into 100 gold then? Or 110 gold? Yep. Okay. Is that the I'm stuff in the bank? Chris, what about you? You just got your shit and you're like, already! Yeah, I'm thinking about buying a room at the inn and just leaving all my shit in there. What? Yeah, like, haven't you ever stayed at a hotel where you just leave all your shit in the hotel? Yeah, but I feel like you'd be cheaper off renting an apartment or something where it's not like, you know, they clean it every day or service of some kind. I don't think she's put apartment buildings into her world, but I could be wrong. There could be rooms for rent, not apartment buildings, but like long term room and board for adventurers. I do not want to stay at Tyler's Inn, but I think that's the only thing in town. Currently, yeah, that's the only thing in town. Um, 
but you're leaving, so shush. <laughs> I buy like a fake mustache and I rent a room under a fake name. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Lauren, would I be able to buy uh, Ring of the Lone Captain before we leave? Yeah, that's the one in uh, Ship Ship Ships? Or no, yes. the. Yeah? What does it do? Oh, it does, all, it does some really cool ship stuff. <laughs> yeah, stuff oh, things. God. Yes, uh, you for sure can buy that. Okay, there goes my 2,000 gold. <laughs> wow. Yes. Hmm. She has a list. <laughs> I'm saving. Uh, she will, however, say, uh, to the, if, like, we're together at this point, um, the Watcher's map from, uh, Eartha's Geography to to put that 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 word uh, gives us a view of 200 feet cube around the ship. If anybody wants to spend a thousand gold on that, we might be able to discover some hidden things. Topography. Yeah, that word. I went to school. For what? Stuff. Business. Haven't you noticed? She's like a manager. Wait, I got one of those t-shirts, right? I'm pretty sure I got one yeah. for 10 silver. I, yeah, yeah, I think Lexi you bought Washer. a few. I'm wearing it. I am wearing it. <laughs> you kind of stretch my face. It looks kind of weird. <laughs> That's my broad shoulders, Chris. I can't help it. You only got it in one size. It's like super tight on me. It's like meant for children, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> it's like it's like Asian sizing in our world. <laughs> like, oh god! Extra large is like a small for us. Yeah. Is that because it was made by a pixie? Yeah, it's because or because of gnomes. Like I don't actually know the sizes. I'm like I want a GS and a GM and a GL. That could, that could be, be it. it. And now a full size Malzahar is wearing a gnomish large. <laughs> the stitches are like Lost coming out at the tunes. shoulders. No, it's quality made. It, it's holding. It looks great. <laughs> <laughs> it is quality made. Uh, yes, you can buy that. I'm just making the handout right now for it. You're still talking about the rig? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I've got the image here for it. Beautiful. The words are so small, I can't read it. Oh, no, I got a high-quality one. I saw this ring a long time ago. She ain't messing around. What? What the fuck is the hammer ship? Where is this? In the ship shaped ships? Yeah. <laughs> Where the fuck is this? Also, where did... Sorry, where did we find the uh, note from Tammy? <laughs> what the... Um, under your door in the morning. Okay. Yeah, but currently it's in the handout. It's right above your character sheet. Oh, no, I, I, was, I was reading it. I just wanted to know, like, how Okay, it's... where you found it. We're just supposed to so... read our own section? I don't know. Ta uh, Sarah, was it individual or was this all in, like, one note? It was all supposed to be on one note, so I probably just left it, honestly, I probably just left it with uh, someone to give to them, or... No, I would have left it, I think, with Malzahar. Okay, so wherever Malz wakes up, <laughs> he gets the note. Great. And everybody's sleeping it. around you anyway. <laughs> Lauren? Yeah? Considering... We've never really seen water, per se, right? Because I guess there's no... There's lakes, but there's no, like, oceans, maybe, unless there's a massive floating continent with an ocean, let's say. Uh, there is. Oh, okay. Well, that's crazy. Uh, okay, yeah. so there are sharks in this world, right? Correct. Okay, is there sky sharks? I, I know there's sky so. whales. Or are there, there like, whales. ocean <laughs> islands? I think I did Where do find they even get sky. The there is sky sharks. It's just like I'm looking at this hammer hammerhead ship. 
And I'm like, what is that even modeled after? <laughs> I mean, there's a lot of shit. Uh, <laughs> but I don't have any yet. So no, there's so far not sky ships or sharks. But I have like sky fish. So <laughs> uh, probably okay. sky sharks. Sharks of Valinar. There is definitely uh, shark oozes. If that. What the fuck? The fuck is a sh is it an ooze with sharks living in it? Yeah. Oh my god, I was picturing one shaped like a shark, <laughs> maybe with a skeleton. <laughs> Let oh, me show you. I, it's one of the ooze with sharks. Like in think it of like turn. a moving aquarium that when you get like pulled into it, a shark bites you. I guess I don't fucking know. That's terrifying. That would be terrifying. Yeah, it's pretty terrifying. It's a high level one, but it's definitely there. Do you have a handout? I do. Okay. I'm trying to find a picture. It. Okay, because I want to see this picture and be absolutely... shark blob. That's oh scary. My, oh my god! What the fuck? It's even shaped like a fishbowl. <laughs> yeah. Why? Yeah. Why? Oh, it's ooze no. giant shark bowl. <laughs> Oh god. It's got a sand castle and stuff in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's cute. <laughs> so just do and not deadly. Want that. <laughs> I thought it was pretty cool. But yeah, that's a that's a hard fight in the arena if you ever want it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't. You can do I, it. I, I really don't. Go bells to hard. <laughs> This is the sales guy to set up arena battles after your last fight. He's like, yo, if you ever want it, I got a giant shark bowl ooze. <laughs> I got a yeah, fight that'll send you right to really the top. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> you want to be a star, don't you? You want to be the biggest name on the streets? Fight the shark ooze. <laughs> it currently what challenge is, rating are we talking here? Uh, it is currently my highest challenge rating. What? <laughs> uh, that I've just got. That I've made. No, just in here. I haven't built all the way, but it's level eight. Where's the picture? Yeah, pass. Oh, I just deleted it. Sorry. I'll throw it out. <laughs> no worries, then. It's right there. It's up now. It's like uh, on the board. Yeah, in roll 20. Uh, so oh, after you guys... After you guys like finish your shopping um, and you're told, sort of told the schedule of the ship departs early morning, you all get there and you are greeted by the familiar crew from your last adventure with um, Rathman at the helm. All aboard! Can you help us with our bags? Uh, and you... Oh my god. <laughs> Who was the ship guy? The troll, dude? Yeah. Uh, he was Thomas. Thomas the troll uh, approaches and he's like, yep, yeah, I'll get you in there and get you all down to your regular quarters. And he takes oh, your oh, bag. Oh, and then, uh, yeah. So you guys begin your departure. They sort of set sail without any hiccups or anything. And you guys can watch, if you will, wave goodbye to Sky. As she waves yeah, from totally. the pier. Yeah. Uh, can I take the 30 minutes as soon as we get on to uh, use my new ring? You certainly can. What would you like to know? I was not prepared for this. Oh, nothing. It's just, this is my ship now. <laughs> okay. Fucking Wonderful. Hell. Um, since it's your ship, do you have like a understanding of it and like who's on it? Is that what it does? Uh, it just allows me to control the ship remotely within 300 feet. <laughs> Perfect. Just including okay. steering and the sails. It specifically states that there is no need for a crew. Wow. Sweet. <laughs> I got him in two cannonballs. <laughs> Who said we were doing a training montage? Yeah, so as uh, after you take off and Sophie all of a sudden, uh, do you, what do you do as soon as you have control? Like, do you like raise the sails, lower it and like turn it? Like I don't feel anything with it just like to don't show that i have control of it it's just in case something happens okay sophie's like you're mine bitch <laughs> uh sarah's Force reminding me board. that before you guys leave too uh you're approached by tilly and uh and she kind of like lowers her head to chris but she'll talk to the entire group and ask if you guys have seen tammy not since she was escorted away from the 
crime scene last night with the guards. Oh no, no, no. She came a little after that and she was all, uh, you know, hair in a fuss and uh, tail was just poofy. And she was writing letters and she was saying really, really scary things. Something about like Clarence being right. And now I can't find her. Well, actually, I have this letter. I haven't opened it yet. But, uh, like, I was going to wait till because we were on a bit of a hurry, uh, obviously. Um, how about I just read it now? And <laughs> we can see what she told us. Dear group of people I have met for three days. No, what does it actually say? <laughs> Do I get a handout here? Yeah, yeah, it is a handout. Okay. All right, so aloud, I read, To the hand of the princess... I can't do the oh god, this does not start well. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Two friends in two weeks. Wait. Senshi, who is Oh right! Maid song, yeah, dead. I can't do this. I came with you to society because I thought I could help. I came because I thought we could be friends, and we were, at least I thought we were. Okay, random. Senshi and I were for sure. He had my back. Warned me of the threat towards my life. What what threat toward Oh God, okay. Crazy and now time. he's no dead. Way. Guy, I thought we were close, but maybe we weren't. I thought we were friends. Uh, I don't, and I'm, I look over to Sky and I'm like, ooh. Because <laughs> yeah. this is apparently before we leave, right? Yeah, uh, Sky is gonna sort of look like she was gonna cry. Okay. You can read uh, that if you want. But I've, no, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> but I've helped, felt the distance lately. Were we ever really friends? Or was this just another instance like Maidson, where what I thought true was wrong? Wait, was Maidson not her friend? What happened between her and Maidson? Were the feelings stronger on my side, more than yours? Was our friendship a little more than an obligation? Wait, Tammy have a crush on you, Sky? Well, we were close, close and we were friends. friends, but I don't think it was okay. like that. Okay, Malzahar. I never really got to know you. Maybe that was for the best for both of us. What does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Chris. I don't know. Oh, God, Chris, you have a whole essay. Chris, you think so much of yourself, accurate. It That's seems true. on the outside. But just like everyone else in this society, it's all about me. What? What? About her or me? I, it's all, I, see, I don't know. She doesn't you? clarify. Me, me. I can't blame you for being a product of this twisted civilization, but you know you can be better. Do better. If for no other. Okay. There's page Reason breaks then. because of the, uh, the thing. It's supposed to continue. Uh, yeah, I'm like flipping through the page. Like, okay. Reason then. Wait. If for no other reason than you scratch my back, I scratch yours. Showing people kindness gains you more kindness in return. Or, well... Oh, shit! This goes on! <laughs> Silphy. Oh, there's so much more. I can't tell if I hated you or pitied you. You wanted me dead. I know it. I did not. Silphy, what is... I did we not. both do. Was it you who wanted me dead? Didn't she just say did you, we do that? Or was it that, or was that you were told to do... But with the witch, with a witch like Miss Choi for a mother, can I really blame you for trying to survive? Or are you quite happy with your situation? I cannot tell. You who enjoy watching Carnage, if there's any chance. Oh, if there's any chance. Oh, sorry. These, oh, it's flipping the page. Of redeeming yourself, you can break free of her. I know you can. Or perhaps, perhaps I'm putting too much faith in you. Please prove me wrong, yet I cannot hold hope for it. She kind of believes in you, Sylphie. And I look into her cold, pitch black eyes. And I'm just like, okay, <laughs> continuing. <laughs> now that kind, of, uh, that kind of affected Sylphie. She's just kind of looking away. Maidson is dead. Senshi is dead. Two friends in two weeks. I can't. I can't. I am no fool, but I am a coward. Were we friends? Uh, or like Malzahar said about Senshi, we have to be friends. Was our relationship a friendship or just necessity? But friendship, I failed, I tried, and I failed, I tried, and Maidson is dead, and I tried, or I tried, and said, she, okay, we're gonna just skim through here. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Dead, or since she is dead, dead, because I wasn't there to watch him. 
I was a poor friend, or maybe I was the only good friend, and everyone else failed me. Failed, failed, failed. Okay, this is the rantings of a lunatic. I can't do this. I can't. I just can't. On the back of the letter is a partial map of the sewers. The ink on the front is spattered with tears. Okay, so, uh, I, and I say to Tilly, I think she may be down in the sewers. <laughs> Maybe. That, that's, I don't that's, know. That's our... That, why would, tries to take the note. Why would she be down in the sewers? I... I don't know. There's a map here and what looks like water, like she spilled something on it, or that's just a lot of liquid. I don't know. Uh, well, Sophie's now going to try to do it, take it, but she would also try to take it. Wait, what? Why are I'm you trying to take it, that. Sophie? I'm just, I'm just, I'm stealing that note. <laughs> no, I, I will jerk it away from Sylvia. It's like, what are you doing? It. I... Ladies, ladies, there's lots to go around. I want to hold on to it. I kick Chris in the fucking chin. Shut up with the ladies' bullshit. I, well, I need that map. What if it, what if you're right and it's a stupid reason? But what if you're right? Well, have the guard look into it. We have I, to be on our I, way. I, <laughs> I guess I, we should go look. Can I have that? No, what, what, why do you want it, Sylvie? Because it might mean a little bit to me. Ooh. Sylvie, she said you wanted to kill her. Admittedly, yeah, it's but the then ramblings she said nice of... things after. After what? After I'm gonna, you... I'm gonna like hand it to like Tilly as Mage carefully hand, as Mage I can. Hand. Hand. No, no, Mage no. Hand. And I'm trying to like, I'm like, I'm not letting fucking Sylvie grab it. Just one arm is pushing a <laughs> Sylvie's forehead. She's like, give me it. <laughs> I want it. <laughs> give it to me. Yeah, mage hand appears behind your back, like reaching for the letter in the woman's hand. I, sw I swat it out of the sky. It's it can't take anything. It's a mage hand. It's like fuck. Be gone, fly. <laughs> I'll let the woman r get away with the the map. Tilly. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot who it was. <laughs> Tilly, with her cat-like reflexes, bounds across the street and out of range of your mage hand. Foosh, 40 feet of movement. Uh, and you guys then all board the ship. Rathman sets off. Sophie pairs to the ship. Uh, She's probably looking for the carpet stuff, Tilly. <laughs> As we sail away. What? <laughs> She's already gone. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> damn cats. <laughs> Uh, so after 30 minutes, um, you guys are underway kind of thing, and Rathman can summon you all to the deck. Which we will go to the deck. Okay. Training montage time? Training montage time. Are we the best time. around? Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm the captain. It's me. Oh, uh, man, when she sets her mind to something, she is becomes whatever it is. <laughs> The ship gives an ominous tilt when I say it's mine now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like we just fall like 50 feet? Poltergeist. <laughs> the sails all just go in all of a sudden. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to get you on there. All the ropes tighten like freaking uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Ghost ship shit. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? Yes, exactly. She closes her fist and everything goes tight. Uh, so, in order for us to overcome the uh, ride the cyclones of Durak, you guys need to up your sailing skills. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I okay, am, okay. I'm already a navigator. So you like raises her I'm... hand. Wonderful. That is one of the skills you can do. There is navigation. Sailor, ship's helm, and engineer. I can also what is, uh, what, ship's what do helm. Do again? Pardon? Because I bought I bought sailing one hundred and one to read it. I all the descriptions of your books are in your character sheet at the bottom on the right. Oh, perfect. Because I don't remember. 
so essentially how training is going to work because I don't want to do Rathman's voice all night. Uh, you can choose one or multiple roles in uh, a sailing skill. There is navigation, which is essentially the quartermaster. They usually plan the routes farther ahead. There is the sailor who unfurls, furls sails and, battle, and mans the battle stations. There is a ship's helm who uses the wind uh, to direct from navigation and steer the ship, or sorry, in directions from navigation to steer the ship. And then there is the engineer who fixes and maintains the crystals and ley lines uh, for the engine below. I call helm. <laughs> I, I volunteer to be a sailor, I guess. I'm going to go Best below deck and stay out of the way. No, Chris, th there's clearly... Are you not good with machinery? It may be, but like... Cyclones? Well, at least help the engineer. Yes, to get to Duroc, we have to pass the cyclones. Unfortunately, all the winds coalesce in that one area, and uh, cyclones are quite frequent, so we just call it the ride of the cyclones of Duroc. And uh, yeah, you have to be a pretty apt sailor to get through it, so I believe in uh, first-hand training, so everybody has to choose a skill, my friend. I uh, help the guy with the engineering and stuff. Can I use captain? Can I be a can I can I have the captain role? I ask that. No, the captain role needs requires a certain amount of time and charisma with the ship. You little messy don't have either. Do you have at least like a hat or like a fancy pin? The ship moves wear? ominously again. <laughs> I think I have charisma with this ship. He just kind of like pets like the wall. <laughs> Listen here, this is my ship. I don't know if the ship would agree. It just like creaks. <laughs> Listen, Rathman likes his ship. Listen here, this ship was assigned to me by the king and I do say I'm the captain of it, little missy. I walk up and I'm like, Sylphie, let's let's just be on our way for now. Okay, I call help. And I drag Sylphie away. <laughs> you don't uh, need to be losing the ship. Wonderful. So uh, for every two hours that you guys are essentially training in, a, in your specific skill, you get to roll in that area. So for navigation, um, you can choose wisdom or intelligence, but the what you choose at the beginning is what it is from now on. Uh, for sailors, yours is either uh, a dexterity or strength, so athletics or acrobatics. And for engineering, yours is wisdom and intelligence again. So choose what skill you want to use to accomplish this goal. Sorry, what was helmsman? Uh, you can choose between wisdom or intelligence. Because it and could require essentially a combination of both. Do we get proficiency in that? Uh, yes, because you have ship handling skills, uh, you will. And you're also extremely attached to the skill, uh, to the ship. So that'll also help you. Mal's, I believe you check what the books do. It's I have to read them over the course of a week for it to uh, give me proficiency with water I, water weapons, but I assume boats would count in this scenario. Yeah, yeah, that's so. essentially what Sylphie's is too. Uh, Chris, yeah. do you have? And you do have um, because you're doing engineering, and I think you have proficiency in tinkerer's tools, right? That is correct. And I would would anybody say that that's not engineering? <laughs> Advantage for everyone. <laughs> Yay! Or proficiency, I'll say. So plus two. Yeah, I get proficiency okay. with tools. Any checks I make with tools, or tinkering tools specifically. Wonderful. And um, as you like, look at the engineering thing, this is sort of the first time you're really getting a, a good look at what it is. And it's, it is a lot of like crystals and chambers and stuff like that, and like cords running around. You see runes in there, but the tools are very f similar to what you would use in tinkering. They're very small, like delicate things that work a lot with brass and yeah, so you would definitely be like, ah, I know what this is. I like crack my fingers outstretched in front of my body, and I'm like, this is child's play. I tie a bandana up my hair. <laughs> On that note, we'll start the uh, 
The montage? Montage. I don't know if action or driven adventures is a better song. I feel like either best to the best or yeah, I have the tiger. Well, obviously. Let's see what my epic is. So, uh, for so for eight hours of travel, so the ships can go essentially. Wow, that's loud. That is outrageously loud. <laughs> fairly loud it's trying to be halo yeah it's not that's not epic enough that was good though was montage it was gonna pick up i bet this is spooky <laughs> yeah this is uh sylvie's sailor theme <laughs> <laughs> oh my god all of the oars are just moving in a weird slow rhythm yep her hair is flapping in the wind here we go. There you go. Okay, that's a little better. So what would you guys like your um, skill to be in out of the things? Wisdom, intelligence, acrobatics, or athletics, or dexterity or strength. What? I uh, to Helmsman can pick dex too, or is that only intelligence? Uh, no, only wisdom or intelligence. I, I picked intelligence then. Okay. What about engineering? engineering? Engineering is wisdom or intelligence. Okay. And I just roll? What uh, I yeah, and then just roll. I think you can make a new roll and add it in, but... And you yeah. wanted to... We do have proficiency hey, now with this? You do have I'm proficiency. I'm steering this ship real good. <laughs> I'm going to roll an intelligence save with proficiency to make it easier on myself. Sylphie controls the ship. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yes, she does. Uh, and map. Other ah. proficiency. <laughs> C -c -c ceiling. 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 No Balzahar. Ceiling. Okay, so I have proficiency in sailing now. So I would use uh, acrobatics. Do I add proficiency to the acrobatics? Um, use your, I think would be your strength. Or is it just advantage? It's just proficiency with your uh, driving skill. I'm sailing. Yeah, it's driving, sailing, same thing. Oh, and yours is strength, right. So, shit, what did I write? Roll, if you're choosing strength, roll athletics, yeah. I was going to choose dexterity for acrobatics. Oh, that works too. Okay, so just going to roll my acrobatics. Is it at advantage or no? No. I guess, wait, there's Wilson, so. Come on, don't be the only one with shit rolls tonight. Okay, that's not bad. Wonderful. So as you guys, you know, you're training away for the first two hours and you guys are like, yeah, we've been on a ship before. We know how this works. We're doing amazing. Uh, and you are. You guys are easily picking up the skills. And so uh, the next two hours are going to pass by. Roll again. Melkar now, now has a peg leg because he lost his <laughs> leg while sailing. No, Act, don't actually uh, do that. Lauren, Lauren, could I give Melzahar advantage by stealthily controlling like the, the things that he's trying to do to make it look like he's doing really good? <laughs> Are you, oh my god. Nothing really, really bad is going to happen. You essentially just aren't going to really learn anything for these two hours. You're going to fumble. You're going to get angry at what's happening. Um, and so you're not essentially like taking in the information that's trying to occur. Like you're tying ropes and you're just like, I can't tie a stupid rope. And it's just a bad time for Mal's this time. How it's going to work is like after eight hours, if you guys have uh, a certain amount of successes, you'll gain a point in the skill, kind of like a new acrobatics or something like that. It's 
you'll now be a plus one to your navigation skills or something like that. But Sylvie and Chris both did well again. Only 20s. <laughs> Wonderful. So time is flying by. You guys are... I should have you on the other. Map. Shit, it's going to be the music. Again. I know. Stupid. <laughs> it shouldn't stop like that. Uh, I'm thinking... Oh, I'll talk about that after. I was thinking about trying out like a different D&D &D, uh, platform. Instead of Roll20? Yeah. D&D &D Beyond or something else? I've heard a lot about... I think it's called like Forge or Firelight or something like that. So oh, I've heard of that one. I have not, but I'm down to try whatever. If we all had a tabletop simulator or whatever, that could be really cool. That could be cool. But we can talk about it after. Um, ship is now moving. You guys are in like open sea. Do -do -do. All right. So another two hours go by. Make your rolls, please. Oh, my God. I continue being fairly flustered. No. Tennis Not as flustered as Sylphie. Yeah, Sophie, I, I don't, I'm not really sure what happened. Maybe, like, a bird poops on you. And <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Can I send this ship through, a, like, a time loop and uh, <laughs> use Tides of Chaos? <laughs> what? Wait, what? Wait, I'm gonna are you actually casting, roll like, again? a time... What? All right, show me what you're trying to do. <laughs> wait. I just want to re-roll. That's all I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to Perfect. Remember. Yes. So you, everybody sees Sophie like almost get pooped on by a bird, but then all of a sudden it's like, boop. No, I did worse. Yeah. No, it then hits her in the face. <laughs> I doubled my, my, oh no. Okay. Like I basically have guaranteed wild magic next time. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh no. Wonderful. Um. So yeah, she gets really angry and doesn't really learn that much for the final two hours. It's now almost dusk, and I will have one of you roll me a d10. You can decide who was going to roll it. I'll roll it. Unless anybody feels like that's not cool. Too late! <laughs> Boo! <laughs> it's a one! <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, so as it's becoming dusk and you guys are getting, uh, you know, all like Miles is sweating from his exertions of sailoring, trying the rigging, learning all of the different masks. So the by the exactly. Sweat. Maybe. Yeah. She swiped off her face and then she just started staring for a while. Uh, Chris is coming up to get a drink of water and see how you guys are doing, taking a break from the hot engine room. Uh, and all of a sudden from the side of the ship. Oopsie. Wait, the princess is here? Nope. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. They're magic things again. Oh god, please don't be a sky shark. Or Token. worse, sky jelly shark. <laughs> oh god. A sharknado. <laughs> oh, that would be pretty bad. Um, Wait, multiple princesses. Never mind, they're Koopas. We're golden. <laughs> I can uh, deal with Koopas. From the side of the ship, you guys out of the cloud fall see very bright yellow turtles with like red um, turtle shells and wings flying angrily towards you. How um, how far are they? Like feet wise? We'll say within 60 feet. Oh, they're 60. Okay, I was just wondering if they're in 500 feet. So that works fine. Sophie oh, right. points her <laughs> hand towards it and commands the ship to fire and creates a giant uh cannonball they have to make a deck save awesome. it's like a, it's like fireball so all of them are getting hit okay so they all have to make a deck save let me get yeah this. deck are save 15. are you fucking shitting me with this shit what <laughs> i haven't even had time to react and sylvie's like firing guns like how do we know they're evil like 
we should ask the captain or, or what matter. are these I've things? Already shot the you might be attacking people for all we They're fucking gone. know. Don't question the captain. Oh You'll be what cleaning the brain. What are you talking about? I'm Why the are the cannons now? firing? I'm going. I'm running to get the captain as this is happening. This is just preposterous. Yeah, the captain has also been overseeing Sylphie's training, but he's like looking around, being like, "What is happening? Why is the ship <laughs> suddenly shooting on its own?" It was technically like from in front of Sylphie, but she's pretending. <laughs> yeah. Did you like yell fire the cannons? Oh, or? she has to. She has to yell fire for it. Okay, and then it suddenly starts firing. Yeah. So he's like, <laughs> "It's one giant cannon." <laughs> Okay, so what is the DC for it? Uh, DC 15. Oh, right. Does the ship, like, tip really hard when it shoots? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh my god. Chris, climbing up the stairs, you get, like, thrown into the side of the staircase and sort of, like, tumble to your knees. Mal is also, like, as you're running towards the upper deck where the everything is you all get rocked to the side. Uh, mm. Fortunately, the Koopas were also somehow ready for shenanigans and three of them manage to aptly dodge it they uh they take half damage from it perfect and what is the damage uh 28 i just rolled it oh yeah there it is perfect so the one that didn't dodge in any way falls from the sky he just gets incinerated takes that blast full force oh god jumps on it like a grenade <laughs> You see his wings burning as he goes down. Uh, and with that surprise round, I'll have everybody roll initiative. <laughs> wow. It was great. I'm the captain. <laughs> I can I only use that once a day, though. <laughs> I don't know if Sylphie wants one, but I definitely want to have pirate hats. <laughs> oh, I take a pirate hat. Pirate yeah. campaign. I would oh, fucking have to roll initiative. a pirate hat. <laughs> uh, where is it? Awesome. My guy oh. in New World is wearing a pirate hat. Mine too, oh my god. Oh, did I not appear on the list? It's got the I try... I don't know what it's called, the try one. It's got three points. <laughs> yeah. Try tip. Yeah, that's it. Oh. There we go. Perfect. And can you guys see the Koopas too? Yes. I can. Awesome. So, um, yeah, the Koopas begin flying towards you, the smoke of the one that has gone below the clouds now, descending. And Malz, you are up first, as these guys are now angrily flying towards you at full speed. I'm going to uh, yell to the captain, asking, like, are they a threat? Are they a threat? Other than yes. looking shot at them. <laughs> Okay, then I am going to j dart to the other side of the bow, or this deck. I'm going to brace my back. Is this actually here, this boat thing and everything in the middle? Yes. Okay, I'm actually I'm going to brace myself against the ship and then take a defensive. So I'll take the dodge stance, like, and I'll take a defensive thing. Um, if, if I'm allowed to set up a reaction, or wait, no, I took the dodge thing, so yeah, I can't set up dodge, an action. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll just take dodge, and uh, I get ready for an attack. Okay, That's you it. could instead turn. take a reaction if you would prefer, but... Yeah, it's... Like, when they... When they get within nah. range, do you want to attack? Or do you want to just dodge? No, I'll just take the dodge action. I'll okay. take the dodge action. Coo, 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 coo! It's now their turn. <laughs> the Koopas? <laughs> the Koopas! And you guys are within range, so... Uh, oh, they angrily just full speed. You wouldn't imagine that their tiny wings could propel them at this <laughs> speed. But angry Koopas rush in. And what can they do? Ah. Uh, they can drop rock. <laughs> they can what? So this one uh, gets onto the ship, sort of like flies above you, Mal's, and then is going to drop rock. <laughs> okay. Um... Uh, a 19 hits. And you are going uh, to... Is it at disadvantage because I'm dodging? Oh, you are correct. It was not. I'll reroll. Fifteen. 
15 misses! Nice. So you see the shadow of this thing as it comes overhead and manage to deftly dodge as this crashes onto the deck beside you. Um, all of its limbs kind of going inside of its shell as it forms into a drop rock. <laughs> oh, it dropped itself? Yeah. <laughs> what it is fuck? now on the deck. Oh my god. Uh, and the other ones will go. Oh god. More drop rock? I think it, this one was behind. So it can just get on top, but it can't drop rock. Uh, and same for this one. It'll get on the deck. Oh, like must be nice for you guys. Yeah, there, it, yours was ahead and closer. Uh, so I fell down the stairs. Back. And it is now Chris's turn. Am I inside? Or am I on the deck where I am? Um, you did just fall down the stairs, I said. So I'll let you be inside if that's where you want to be or if you want to start coming out. Okay, where is out? That's the exit. I don't come out the front? No, out the front? I don't, I don't think that's how I have the ship. Because there's the up and that's the inner cabin. Okay, I'll come out the back then. I'm like, guys! <laughs> <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Who is this? Um, so you come, come on, on to deck. deck. Yeah, I'm going to disengage and go up the ladder. Okay, it's five. <laughs> Do I know what these guys are? Like, is this some... Are they a common occurrence? Roll me a history check. Yeah, do I know who a Koopa is? If you yes. want to see, roll a Fuck three. me! Uh, can now, I also roll? Yeah. Oh. Chris, jumping overboard? <laughs> no, I'm trying to move so I can move my hat. <laughs> History, you say? Yeah, History. I've been around a long, long time. Jesus, that dice. That was a lot. Perfect. So, uh, Mal's this you've never sort of seen these creatures in the arena, so you're like, meh, must not be a tough creature. Never heard of it, right? Like uh, it. Exactly. Sylphie, so you are kind of like, mm, this species is probably nearest, if I can judge by the turtle shell of the island of Mariu. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you can't remember anything really about them. Um, and Chris, you have definitely seen these things. You guys use them in Nomadem to like fly things around, but they are rather hostile. So it, a lot of training has to be done. And usually you guys, you only use like the older ones, and the adolescents, like these ones do attack. Like these guys are aggressive. What's the plan, Captain? Get them off my ship. We kill them. Sylphie tries to respond over the captain. <laughs> hey, I'm looking at Sylphie when I ask the question. I'm like, look over at Rathman, like, what the fuck? We kill them and throw them off my deck. <laughs> uh, wonderful. So you disengage, so it's Sylphie's turn. Uh, is, is, he, like, is, is he within my, like, radius? Do I have to uh, disengage if I want to get away? He is flying. Um, and he does not have range to hit you. So He's 10 feet away. Sophie will do a uh, mode of chaos then. Cool. Oh my god, you're gonna... <laughs> Wait, is this a full spell? This is a cantrip kit. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, Sophie... <laughs> oh god. Uh, 15 will hit. Uh, so it's 10 damage of... Uh, acid. Wonderful. So, uh, you throw acid on this thing in the air, and you see it kind of, like, uh, and <laughs> it hurts it quite a bit to the point that you see its wings begin to quiver. Oh, but it passes, and they but they manage to still hold it aloft, um, and so it is still remains flying. But that did definitely hurt it.
Is that everything on your turn? Oh, yeah, that's everything. I was just reading the make sure I did it right. Oh, yeah, perfect. Awesome. Malzahar. Right. This thing came at me with what I can only imagine is intent to kill. So I got to kill it. And plus, I haven't heard orders. I'm just defending myself at this point. I, uh, I'm i going to go ahead and attack the guy. Cool. He is now, you know, coming out of his shell. Yeah. So one sec. I will swipe for the head. 16. 16 hits. All right. Uh, I'm also going to, one sec, got to look at my spells because I'm going to use it. I want to do... Menacing attack. Here, I'll just throw it out there. So when you hit a creature with a weapon attack, you can expend one superiority die to attempt to frighten the target. This is loud music. <laughs> yeah, you add to one superiority die to the attack's damage roll, and the target must make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, it is frightened. But don't until you the feel end of awesome? <laughs> I do. All right. So yeah. So. Uh, Damage, I did five, then plus slash roll 1d8. Another five, so ten damage uh, on the first attack. And he has to make a wisdom save. Uh, and he, your DC is 15, right. so he actually failed that. Beauty. So you see him go, and like pop his head into his shell. Okay. Oh, that's not good. Okay. Quick question. Uh... What does Frighten do again? Uh, on his turn, I believe he has to use his everything he has to get as far away from you as he can. Okay. And also, he's prone right now, right? If he just retreated within his shell? No, just his head went in. So he's still standing. Oh. His arms and legs are out. What the fuck? He's That's so weird. <laughs> Is that he been... turtly enough for the turtle club? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um... Turtle, turtle. Uh, I kind of feel bad, but I'm going to... I'll take another attack. Um, and I'll aim for his exposed wing, I imagine. if is Because if he's not looking, if he has his eyes closed while I'm attacking him, do I get advantage? Anything like that? Yeah, sure. Okay. He definitely. Yeah, he has restrictions on sight. 18? Yeah, nice. So you... Hit his wing. Yeah, for five whole damage. Uh, Wonderful. Yeah. And then I will bonus action third attack. Okay. Unless he's dead. No, he's still going. You definitely see him quivering, and you actually see the wing that you uh, just cut sort of like shrivel a little bit and then fall off. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry, but you attacked me first. <laughs> Okay, just... I. Okay, I don't know if. I... Ah, crap! I feel bad, but I know what I gotta do. But I feel bad. No, wait. Oh, okay, wait. I give it a chance to surrender. Never mind. <laughs> I'm not gonna take my third attack. I give it a chance to surrender. I'm like, oh god, I feel so bad. Um. Okay, so it's now their turn, and so he has yeah. to use his movement to get as far away from you as he can. You, however, took away his ability to fly. So the yeah. farthest he can get is so he's gonna just start running past everybody. Uh, he'll run past Silphy. Uh, do I get an attack of opportunity? Yes. Yeah, so I'm all finished. Of... I want to hit him. Okay. So Miles can if he wants to as well, uh, but Silphy, you can as well. Please tell me he picked up his wing that fell off. I feel really bad if he just <laughs> left it here. No, he just left it. His head is still within his thing. <laughs> he's just running. His arms <laughs> are flailing. <laughs> <laughs> his wings off. He's just like. Within a shell. Oh my god. Can you not make his voice be so like, why not? And then I'm like, oh, I don't feel so bad. Uh, <laughs> He's a because, monster. Because I decided that I'm a girl and I should do girl voices so it doesn't hurt my throat. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll, much more NPCs will be female from now on because I. No! Can't. I can't! Oh. Um, this is terrible. So you definitely hit it with your staff, Sylvie. Uh, it's only two damage. That's fine. That's actually enough. So you can wallop this thing in the shell uh, as it runs past, and you're enough damage to sort of like cave in its chest, and it just falls to the oh. ground. Um, 
beside you. Someone get this corpse off my ship. The floorboard <laughs> lets loose and just catapults it. <laughs> okay, so these things are insanely weak. Um, so the next one um, that is still beside Sylphie, seeing her bludgeon his friend, is going to drop rock on her. Oh no. Uh, okay, yeah, that definitely hits you. Um, it's going to do 10 bludgeoning damage. And you must make a strength save or be knocked prone. Oi. Drop rock! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Even with the minus one, Sophie still manages to, like, fucking heave this turtle off of her. Like, it hurt her <laughs> arms. You see them sort of shatter a little, but... <laughs> I am the captain. <laughs> Wonderful, so I'll let it land beside you. She could like catch it like Atlas holding the world. <laughs> uh, Did Malthar see this? Yes. She did it for you. <laughs> I, like, I like that like the imagery of this is like one ram past me, I like hit it with my quarter staff and then catch this other one casually and just throw it off. <laughs> That is exactly what's happening. You're fucking badass oh throwing these turtles around. Uh, the next one flies over the top of the ship and is going to drop rock Chris because it saw it run by. Uh, and it misses somehow. The edge of the the ship is sort of not where it expected it to be, so it like lands right behind you on the stairs, breaking them. Damn. And that's where it is. So now it is your turn. Oh, you want to play rough? Well, say hello to my little friend and I point my banana pistol at it. <laughs> and I'm going to try and shoot him. Oh, oh my god. Mouse, are Wait. you watching? Wait. What do you mean banana pistol? <laughs> it's just yellow. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wonderful, that hit. Wow. Yeah, you spray this thing like dead in the face uh, with a bunch of small pellets and it hisses and like, <laughs> and I guess it does that reels back. I end is my turn there. Is he still flying? No, no, he has landed. Uh, oh. uh, both the other two have as well. Oh, now it is Sophie's turn. Does Sophie know what a gun is? I don't know, Matt. Um, are these only gnomish? I think they're like w known in the world, but they aren't like uh, rare, as available as like swords and stuff like that. You've only heard tell of their power. Ooh. First time seeing one. I want one of those. Uh, but uh, I think it, I think it's time to do some wild magic. So I'm gonna do. Wait, what? There's... on myself. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Fireball on myself. Burn Chris the ship. gonna fucking like get yeeted off the boat. Uh, so Don't kill I cast me. mage armor, making my uh, armor class 15. But if I roll 18 or lower, wild magic happens. Oh my god. Come on. Crit, crit, crit. 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 Oh, oh, no! oh <laughs> not the crit we wanted. Not the crit we wanted. <laughs> It's now time for the D100. The D115. Wow. Hey, okay. guys, you never Is that a fireball on himself? No, that's uh, for the next minute, I regained yeah. five hit points at the start of my turn. Yeah, it was a good one. Really? Yeah. They're not all bad. Some are pretty what cool. This horse shit. That's a pretty badass <laughs> mage armor. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, Sophie. What does your mage armor look like? Uh, I like to imagine it's just like a added like magical, magical armor plates like on top Look at of the druid like I wear. and you're gaining health and green glow oh yeah this one for some reason has flowers on it i don't know <laughs> why it doesn't usually do that but like this one's growing nature nice it's tammy giving me her strength it's like <laughs> all this magic armor goes on you and then it's like <laughs> like a flower comes out I picture it like sasuke's ability in fucking naruto like the the dead Soldier like that surrounds him in his aura, kind of thing, you know. Oh, Susanoo. Susanoo, yeah. That's what I picture it being. 
watch this horrifying dead thing surround Sophie and it's like, <laughs> come, come. <laughs> and she feels a little bit better as well. Yeah, I heal for five. Yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, so, Am I able to move away from this turtle? Yes, or you still have your movement. It will provoke opportunity. Oh, yeah. Though. Um... Okay, then I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stand my ground. I'm the captain. I just I have to. <laughs> Wonderful. Uh, Malzahar is up next. You see the what? one you tried to release get completely brutalized, but now you see your companions being bared down by these turtles. All right. Do I have the movement to make it to them, like with steps and everything? Yep. All right. I get up to beside Sylphie. I'm not sure if I can actually stand here. Yeah, the measurements is correct. It is a 40-foot ship. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then... Oops. Oh, ah! my God. <laughs> oh, no, the ship! Whoops. It's doing that thing where we lost mates on. <laughs> Captain, <laughs> what are you doing? It's not me. It's the other guy. And I'll attack. <laughs> yeah, right attack on the helm like, wow. <laughs> Wonderful. Okay. For 13. Uh, 13 does hit. Really? Yeah. What? Wow, these guys are weak. Okay. I'll just straight up hit it. I'm not going to waste superiority die. Six. Yeah, so you very nicely uh, cut deep into one of its arms and it hisses back in pain. All right, I'll attack it again. He falls out I of like his I like the hissing shell. better than it whimpering. The fucking <laughs> whimpering. Not afraid. All right, 11. Misses. It, this okay, time it really catches your barrel. twin blade in its teeth. Uh, wait, wait, what? It's beak. Uh, Lauren, would, did we have a long rest between the investigation and getting on the ship? Yeah, you would have had like a full night's rest. Okay, so Sylphie will use Ben Luck to give a D4 extra to that 11 that Mel's a heart rolled. Ooh, is it a... Want me to roll the instant? D4? Yeah, it's instant. I'm well, just able to do it. It's for two sorcery points. Let's start. One D4. Yeah. So 13? 13 hits. All right. Another nine damage. Wonderful. So with this one, uh, you wrench the one end out of its teeth, and then all of a sudden the other one is just like skewered through its throat, uh, and it is dead. <laughs> is that everything on I your turn? I'll, I'll use the last of my movement to, I guess, like, go look at this. See Chris is blasted in the head and be like, holy shit. And then I'll bonus attack because <laughs> I get three. Fighters, man. Fighters, man. Yep. <laughs> For six damage. Six damage is very nice. And again, you, like, clean cut it and it sort of wobbles in place, but it is still standing. All right. It is now its turn, and so it is going to sort of reel back, and you see its eyes focus once more, and its arm draws back, and it's going to try to punch you in the face. <laughs> it's going to try to punch you in the face. That's nice. Uh, 13, That's I believe, misses you. Uh, so yeah. unfortunately, with its hits, it's just sort of like, and you easily dodge it. Um, you do sort of feel bad for it, but it is now Chris's turn. As it hisses again. All right. I'm like, come on. What even was this attempt? You guys, this is so weak. And I'm going to viciously mock it. <laughs> <sighs> I hope it fails, and I hope you kill it. It fails. It has an aneurysm. Just All right, I got to roll a 1d4. Come on. Hey! Oh, nice. <laughs> and it, you know, it kind of like it's reeling and then it looks at you and you see sadness in its eyes and then it just topples overboard uh, and it is dead. Sort of given up the will to live as its companions and brothers possibly. It just oh, spirals wow. down into the clouds. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And you successfully uh, staved off this attack by some flying winged turtles all of a sudden. Captain, where'd they even come from? I don't even see islands around here. 
sometimes they just oh, roll. Oh my god, I forgot about you. Oh, they came from uh, <laughs> over the ships, somewhere over there. She just like kind of points to like the northeast. <sighs> well, uh, all right then. Best to get back to training. There's still some light with us. Uh, so that didn't take that long at all. So I will give you guys another um, another two hours to train in your designated area. Uh, training. Yay. My favorite. Montage. Yay. Decent roll. Woo -woo. No. <laughs> Sylvie fucked up again. Oh, no. I took off my shirt. While I was doing the sailing, <laughs> so I'm topless right now, just sweating. <laughs> she the can't ropes. do anything. <laughs> yeah, you're like heaving the bodies of the turtles off the deck and stuff. So you're like, your pecs are ripped, and she's just like, ah. Uh, perfect. So as you know, dusk finally finds you guys. Uh, you're tired from the day. Um, the ship will begin to move a little bit slower uh, in nighttime as it works on reserve energy. So the captain will stay at the helm as you guys get some rest. So you can head. Can't take there. much more. <laughs> yes. Uh, so for your day of training, Mal's your um, sailor skill will go up by one, as you had three successes. Okay, so I'm gonna. I don't know how to. I'm gonna put a plus one on this thing. Yeah. There, you should be able to add like a no that's like only health and defense but we can just remember it and add it yeah um, but yeah that works uh, Sophie unfortunately you did two and two so although you trained hard and you do have this attachment with the ship your navigation skill didn't increase you didn't really feel like you learned anything through that this day I was doing helmsman not navigation wait are they the same did I have, do I have two of the same thing uh, ship's helm is actually different from navigation. It's the same check. You just have to choose what you want to be. The okay, helmsman yeah, is driving, that. and the navigation is more like plotting the route. I was doing helmsman then. Okay. Yeah. Uh, perfect. That's fine. I'll just change that in my notes. Fall bar and into the abyss. Yeah, she wanted something new because she's already got navigating pretty well down. Uh, and Chris, with your, uh, you didn't fail a single one, so your uh, engineering skill will go up by two. Good job. That's good. He's going to need that for, for our plans later. <laughs> Do I get to apply my jack of all trades to that because it's a skill? Jack of all trades is plus one to all skills. You had no interest in sailing before, so I feel like no, because it's a, it's new, a one. new one that I've made up. Okay. I'm not crying, you're crying. <laughs> Perfect. So as you guys um, go down below deck to um, sleep for the night, please make perception check. Great. Do we have a stowaway? Hmm. I no, am nothing. tired. I am <laughs> so fucking tired. So it has been a long day. <laughs> Is there a cat? She's making me do unnecessary shit. I need him sweatier. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Sophie. There is Captain Quarters. Yeah, I want, I want that. I'm oh my god. It. Okay. Um, it is above deck, so you will not be privy to this perception check if you go to the Captain's Quarters. Oh my Wait, god. do I have to leave everybody? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll go I'll go back okay. down with everybody, then I'll okay. go back down. <laughs> everybody come sleep in the Captain's Quarters with me. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, I didn't know we were doing that kind of thing. No, I, like look down at, I look down at Chris, and I'm like, I don't know. No, thank you. I just shrug like, why not? <laughs> it's a slumber party. There's sleeping bags, probably. We just take from from this room. 
Um, as you guys come down the stairs and are bustling through the rooms, Chris, you do hear random noises from the other room that don't really sound like what you've normally heard on a ship. It does definitely like wrestling and moving around like something sort of large is there. Sophie, you hear this as well. Sophie, are you doing something weird over there? Uh, nope. Not is it the breath of You guys are like, <laughs> oh, walking did, over did it? Yeah. Did he stow away again? I'm going to bed. Birthday! <laughs> Wonderful. So I, as you guys I didn't like, hear anything, I go to bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just like, they're being weird again. Um, so you guys can enter this room, and Chris, you were really like looking around. You had a high enough perception check that once you get in here, you see um, the foot of somebody behind a crate. Well, that's not a hoof. That Who are you? Show yourself! Tammy came back. Oh, Sophie immediately bows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and then just bows down. Yeah. Same movement, breath, everything. Yeah, it's like instant. Uh, yeah, so out from behind the crate when Chris says, show yourself, um, Princess Tora sort of uncrouches from her sort of bad stealth there. She was getting sore from hiding there all day. And she's like, oh, uh, hi. <laughs> Uh, what's going on here? I decided to come with you and see the world. We're only gone for like two, three days, though. What? Oh, that's perfect, right? Like, I'll only be gone for two or three days. It's going to be like my first foray. And um, I feel I felt really bad about leaving everything uh, with my contact to you guys. And so I, I wanted to really follow this through. This is it's my job. I want to come with you. Does Brian know about this? Brian? Why would Brian need to know? Your, your, uh, your, your highness, does the king know about this, uh, of adventure? Course. Of, of course, course not. <laughs> That's who Brian to, like, is. Back, oh, is it? She just begins to back out, like, still bowing, but she, like, goes, tries to leave the room. <laughs> well, where are you going? <laughs> uh, I gotta go to the washroom. Oh, all right, that seems sudden. Um, okay, um, I'm tired. I guess we're we're far enough on our way, aren't we now? Well, now that we're alone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Where do we sleep, sleep in this <laughs> oh my place? I'll show you. <laughs> Come with me, I'll show you my bed. <laughs> I'll be like, wait, you wait here a second. I run over into the other doorway. I'm like, Malzahar, get the hell out of here! <laughs> I don't know if he's muted or not. He's muted right now. Fuck! I was muted. Uh, my bad. Chris, what are you... No, it's it's been a long day. I don't have time for your shenanigan, shenanigans. Shenanigans. Okay, well, I'm going to the lower bunk. No one is to disturb me. What? Why? I just run away. <laughs> I come and peer at the door just to see, like, I peer out the doorway, like, what is he doing? Um, luckily... Do I see him run to the storage? You do, you do see, him. see him run to the other side, but uh, Tora did stay there, so you can't see her yet. Aren't the stairs over okay. here? I would, I'd be totally fine with it if he saw her and me going down the stairs. <laughs> okay. I, so, I like, shoot a wink and a finger gun at him. <laughs> um, Tora waves and she's like, "Oh hi, Mal!" Like, Princess Tora. Do I'm just like, <laughs> Go I cannot leave Chris alone with Princess Tora. <laughs> yeah, I've got like the nastiest little grin on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I follow. I follow hard. I'm so, like, where are you taking the princess? Yeah, so they'll get a little bit ahead of you and, like, you'll be showing yeah. her the room. <laughs> Mouse comes down the stairs. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris, what are you doing? I, you know, I was going to take the princess get some food. She's a stowaway. She came to see me. Yes, and then he was going to show me his bed. Well, well uh, she must uh, be tired, you know. I mean, we're going to get food first. Ooh, I am so excited to try boat cuisine. Oh, I princess. Oh, 
<laughs> let's let's sit and have a meal then. Uh, but just so you know, your bunk will be down here. Me and Chris's bunks will be upstairs. And I, I glare at Chris. I glare. Don't, don't know what a bunk is, but uh, uh yeah. Okay, well, let's just get some food and I'll explain. <laughs> And I'm like glaring at Crystal, like you little. Whoa, man, we're old Can't enough. Can't leave you in. alone for a second. <laughs> oh my god, that's pretty great. That's awesome. Sophie sneaked off to try to go somewhere secluded. If uh, if there is anywhere like that, there's probably areas uh, like the front of the deck and stuff like that. But still, some of the uh, workers are bustling around, but they they leave you alone. Uh, so Sophie is gonna try and find like a quiet corner and she's going to use her contact stone to the royal family and see who picks up oh my god wonderful um yeah so it, it uh i guess rings a few times bing 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 who can it contact again it could contact the it's, king or the princess right it can contact it's whoever it's some anyone in the royal family it's like just a direct contact to someone they're like uh ami san or the princess or the king it's never specified which hello this is clarence <laughs> <laughs> um you're actually going to hear uh hello uh, it's princess tora on the uh, line is this the, the sizzler <laughs> oh sylphie did you try to call my dad three three, three see uh, she hangs up <laughs> <laughs> um so you guys having to lunch with her or dinner i guess <laughs> see her like answer a little rock with some earbuds in it and say that <laughs> and then she starts laughing and she's like ah sophie tried to rat on me to my dad <laughs> oh that is such a sylphie thing to do <laughs> good thing i was smart enough to, ch to check his uh air or, yeah airpods <laughs> wait what <laughs> And Sylvie has a direct line to you and your dad? Uh, yeah, I don't remember why she got it. I remember dad saying something like she's a friend and uh, they might need information. Is there anything else you can remember? Is there anything else you can remember? No, I, I didn't really ask. It seemed, you know, fine to me. I, I just okay. knew that I should definitely take this away from him so that I wouldn't get caught. <laughs> Miles, if you, if you open yourself up to the world of magic, you could talk to anybody from anywhere. Pretty much. Yeah. Yeah. You don't even need a rock. I doubt that. I just was wondering why she had a rock that went directly to the royal family. Oh, hello, Sophie... everyone. Oh, I was in the Sophie. washroom. I didn't call anyone. <laughs> the princess just told us you did. I did. I don't know what you're talking about. It was probably Tammy. You know, she's getting up to something somewhere. Hey, we're having some food. You want to join us? Yes, sit down, sit down. This is delicious. Sophie sits yes. exactly where she's standing. <laughs> I like pass a plate no, over, but Sophie. not far enough. <laughs> I like lift her up and bring her to the table. It's like, what are you doing? She ordered me to sit. I sat. That's funny. Oh, oh my God. God. Uh, you guys are eating some very good tea potage. Tea potage. Yes. Tea potage. Tea potage. I don't is know it what like... it is peas yeah it looks like sort of like peas in a soup but it's a thicker consistency so more like a stew maybe some potatoes so like were mashed stew. in there yeah the is nice... there meat uh, not that you can taste there's some bread on the side the cook's bustling oh, I'd be around dipping there. that in there 100 percent. that'd be pretty good yeah uh, now i'm hungry <laughs> mm, i made you guys something I knew, oh, uh, Tori begins like patting herself. She's like, I knew, um, you know, you might be upset with me that I was suddenly just staying on your ship. Uh, so I thought that you would like, um, a charm. What do you and, mean, like for bracelets? Uh, uh, bracelets, weapons, you know, whatever you want. Um, so I'll show you guys this. Okay. And you can pick the charm you want. Okay. Uh, Is there only one of like three, and we each have to decide who gets what? No, uh, it's a list of seven. I just instead of deciding for you, I figured 
hell, let's let them decide. She can be like, I can customize this to any of these things. She's like hand woven, like friendship type bracelets that attach to key rings. <laughs> that attach to oh, either fun. weapons or whatever. I just can't freaking... Is this your way of trying to bribe us not to tell your dad that you're on the ship? Yes. Well, we don't have to tell him. He'll find out. Princess, it's... You do know where we're going, correct? Where are we going? Durak. 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 Why are we going to Durak? Carpet thief. Is the carpet thief Durak? No, we were going there for the children. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're doing all this for carpets. Yes, remember I had asked you guys to meet my uh, contact in the sewers, and you guys let me know mm -hmm. that um, it was in Duroc, his like sister's cousin's niece's nephew's Patricia, something like that. Um, can you guys see all the stuff? So I figured uh, a lot of them were weapony, and so the other one is a little less weapony. But you can choose yeah. whatever charm. Buy a bard. <laughs> oh yeah, it says buy a bard. It can be by whoever. So if Sophie wants to use it all out. Wait, where where are these? Um, I think I just popped them up, but they oh, should be in is. handouts. This one's a little like horde. I like it. A little bit of rose on it. Isn't it very pretty? I love it. Yo, you made this? Yeah, if I, I can spend some time and um, imbue charms with some magical magic that I hand weight weave together, um, yeah. Okay, pill winds. Oh, oh, see, pill winds sounds fucking boss as shit. It's pretty Just cool, quick right? air blade bolt. Oh, that sounds so cool. I haven't read through most of them other than that one. The boulder charm is also pretty cool. Let me see the boulder charm. Yeah, I figured I'd give you guys a little um those. And she'd be like, and if that wasn't enough to bribe you, uh, she begins patting herself and she no, she pulls out a little like hand or woven purse kind of thing, like it would be like a wicker basket, but it's a purse. Um, and so she'll start pulling things out and she will place the do, 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 watcher's map that you guys had seen previously. At the topography At place. the top, yeah. So she places a little glowing square on the table and she's like, I noticed that um, when we were at the store, you guys really wanted this. So I bought it. So you guys can have this. Uh, and then she'll pull out some bracers and she'll slide them towards you, Malzahar. And she's like, uh, and you would look spiffy with these. They're very nice. Uh, and then she'll pull out a bracelet. Wait. I don't have everything as a handout. So these ones will just, just be... Give, princess, what, why are you giving us all these things? Hey, man, don't like a gifted horse in the mouth. No, but I mean, it's, if she wants to come on a journey, that's fine. But she, we need to set some ground rules for safety. We're not escorting just anyone. Well, well it's I th thought these would help with safety. Um, the bracers that I gave you, whenever uh, you put you protect somebody else and put yourself in danger, you gain an inspiration die of one d six to whatever. So whenever you protect somebody, you get a bonus to anything you want. Um, and this bracelet, well, yeah, it's like an inspiration die. So any roll that you yeah. make, like a check, you can add a D6. So it's not a full inspiration die, but it's a, it's a mm -hmm. little one, like a D6. Um, so it's anytime you protect somebody else. Cool. Which I figured would be really great as you're the only fighter right now. <laughs> the only fighter. Um, and she'll hand Sophie a bracelet that the ha has some chains going around it. And she's like, this is a phantom's bracelet. Uh, I've noticed you really like like that floating hand and stuff like that. And so this can make your hand into uh, like a ghost hand and you can like pass through solid objects. And so she'll put oh. it on and she'll like put her hand through the wall kind of thing. It'll go up to her wrist. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. <laughs> Uh, and whenever you want to interact with something like through your phantasmal hand, because it is a ghost hand, you'll roll or flip a coin essentially. So roll 1d2 to see if you can do it. If that makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to need that. 
Yeah, yeah I'll just definitely make these into handouts. Um, and Chris, she's going to hand you a very nicely colored vest um, that has studs and stuff in it. Oh, God. Uh, and she says, um, uh, through a couple of the stories that you guys have been telling, um, you know, you've been getting hurt sometimes. So I just thought that this would help protect you. It gives you a bit of a bonus in... Um, in your health and yeah your ac and i think it does something else i don't remember uh just try to protect me dress me up all nice are we going somewhere well you know everybody's <laughs> well we just lost senshi and you know uh maid son's funeral was just two weeks ago still too so uh i just really worried that you guys are all gonna leave me soon too I walk across the table and I put my hand on her cheek and I go, baby, you don't have to worry about me going anywhere. <laughs> Grab Chris and pull him back. Like, God damn it, Chris. You <laughs> Sit me back but down. He's right. <laughs> Stuff you don't have to worry cast. about us going anywhere. <laughs> okay, well, Fucking still. kidding me. These are gifts. I want you guys to have them. Um, yeah. I added the moon vest. I'm adding the phantom bracelet. And Mal's yours is typed out, so. Okay. Ooh, the moon moth vest with with the moth clasps. So what are all... they called? Bracers. Braves bracers. Um, this is his chainmail. I don't think I can wear that. Uh, <laughs> Not well, at least. It's a light. It's considered a light armor because it's magical. It essentially allows somebody who can't wear heavy armor to wear heavy armor, but not. Sophie, the Phantom's bracelet is now there. Mm. Oh my god. I'm happy I'll be unconscious when I get cocooned. <laughs> <laughs> that is terrifying. <laughs> uh, do, since we're getting two here, do they have, are they both attunement or are neither attunement? Can I just like wear them? To what? Oh, because of the chains. I'm going to say that the, the charms don't require attunement. Once you just put them on your weapon, they kind of work. Okay. Good. Or your staff, or however you want to have it. I think just for the coolness factor, and I actually like how it works with Mal's, I'm, I'm just going straight with the Pale Winds charm. That seems so cool for him. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I was honestly debating giving everybody that one because it's pretty cool. But then I was like, "It's so are. cool!" Yeah. <laughs> Just I want you to know, I'm making lightsaber noises every time I do this. Like, <laughs> you, you. <laughs> like, you. like uh, oh. Have you seen any of the shorts yet? The no, no, I haven't. Series? I haven't. I'm waiting, like, because of New World. Like, I didn't want to sit like however many hours down and just watch those when I could be playing New World. So, but I'm gonna I'm gonna binge them soon. There's a couple of really good, really good. We haven't watched them all, but there's a couple of really good Star Wars moments where you're like, "Holy fuck, I oh. love Star Wars!" <laughs> <laughs> nice. Couple lightsaber reveals, and you're like, "Yes!" <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. They did a really good job on the battle scenes. So yes, fully good. make that lightsaber noise. I will let it be whatever color you wish. I have a gust of wind. <laughs> green it's always green wonderful no no you can't have green wind <laughs> yes why not because that's a fart yes yeah, fart, <laughs> <a> fart <laughs> no 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 it's like green like when you see air magic type shit in a fantasy like an ethereal green not fart green uh, like evil villain disney green uh matt i threw in the braves bracers there sure. in the chat you can take okay that. the dm discretion is just like what actually constitutes as putting yourself in danger I, I feel like it's pretty straightforward, but that way you're not yeah. like, I'm over here and protecting myself. <laughs> yes, yeah, so I'm definitely taking the range extending one. Wonderful. And you were taking the uh, bard one? Yeah, that's the one that the increases voice range, though. Yeah. Or is there another one that increases range? That's the mine, the, bard one, the, the bard wind one. one. Yeah, the wind one does an attack thing. Yeah. 
I don't melee enough for those ones to be worth it. <laughs> exactly, yeah. I um, was considering the, the blood one, though, that, like, that makes it so when I take damage, I get charges and I can, like, send it back. That is pretty cool. Um, if you have an idea for, like, a charm that would suit you better, if there's little, like, tweaks and stuff like that, I can change them. It was just something I found today, and I was like, yeah, I want to give them charms. The princess would give you guys oh, wait, little major why did, charms. Why did I put that as a charm? It's not a charm. Equipment. Could I get a charm of plus one charisma? <laughs> <laughs> now, Silphy, don't be <laughs> making requests to the princess. <laughs> These are gifts, be thankful. <laughs> this. I'm trying to think of what it could be. What is the... For some reason, my roll 20, but once I close something, I can't reopen it. Oof. Yeah, it's great fun tonight. With all these Open things and items lost. that we're buying. <laughs> Wonderful. So you guys have a delicious uh, meal with the princess. She gives you guys all of these very nice gifts to kind of bribe you in to convincing you she can stay. <laughs> it's fine. If, if it's There's your command. No, it's not like we can turn around now. I could turn us around, and so he's gonna like command uh, the ship to like turn slightly. <laughs> we all slide one way on the chairs. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Silphy, what are you doing? It's Not a bench. It's just chance. She rubs her ring. <laughs> you can yeah. do anything you say your mind to if you think about it hard enough. She just really wants to be a boat captain, so she is a boat captain, man. <laughs> That's exactly it. Oh my. Just like you want to be an arena fighter who brings honor to your ancestors Sylvie. and stuff. You can do anything you say you're back to. Y yes. Sylvie, I'm going to turn in for the evening. You and the princess will bunk down here. Do not <laughs> let Chris in the same bunk room as the princess. The, he will the, be sleeping upstairs with me. The princess should have the captain's quarters. I elbow you know, the princess. Actually, Imagine actually, this guy is the king. <laughs> Oh, no, well, I couldn't. I, he doesn't know that I'm here, so I don't really want to impose, because he might turn the ship around. Oh, trust me, he can't turn the ship Is around. the cook not <laughs> seeing the princess and being like, oh, fuck, Jesus? Uh, the cook is blind. <laughs> How do we know we're eating what he thinks he made? He is a very good cook. His mama taught him, uh, and he took a long time in order to overcome this with a disability in order to be a cook on, on a ship. ship. So, thank you. His Kill. other senses are heightened. That's exactly. why it's so delicious. Well, smell and taste are really the most important, right? Who needs <laughs> eyes? Exactly. You could yeah, cut exactly. one out with solidarity. And for some reason, they don't notice, recognize the voice of the princess because she's never around. So, that that makes that sense there, right? Yeah, she's <laughs> been locked away for 20 years. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go to turn in, essentially. Is it late enough that Valzahar. everyone should be turning in right now? Because if so, I'm dragging Chris with me. Like, if it's like, you know what? Yeah, it's time everybody goes to bed. Yeah. And I, would, I would drag Chris with me. I and hold I... the chair trying to stay. <laughs> 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 it's time to go to bed, Chris. We have a big day ahead of us. I haven't even had a beer yet. <laughs> Princess, <laughs> do something. <laughs> Uh, the cook is like, we don't have any beer on this deck ever since the last captain in the Maid Sun scenario. Oh, and he drags Wait, me away, and there's like fingernail drunk? marks in the floor. Wait, what are the okay. specifics of the Maid Sun scenario okay. that involve alcohol? Well, he was hung over from the night before, uh, and so he stayed up, or he was he drank before or something like that, so he was like kind of hung over, kind of still drunk, and he sort of went the wrong way and led them into the monkey horde. Didn't pay attention, didn't recognize it soon enough sort of scenario. Wait, 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 wait. And he's still the captain? No, it wasn't Rathman. It was the other guy. That's why Rathman oh. is now the captain. And I have to go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I had a stern talking to the king about that guy. He got fired. Yeah. He can now be fine at Tilly's Tavern, drinking his sorrows away. <laughs> we haven't gone back there in a while. 
Nice. Perfect. So yeah, so you can all go to bed for the night. Wait, so like Sophie's just like bunking with the, the princess, just yes. just go to there. Uh, can she so, handle that? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Because the princess is gonna be like, oh my god, this is like my first sleepover. Oh. Uh, <laughs> what do you normally do? Sometimes mother lets me read books. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do I have any books? Oh my god. Okay. And so she's gonna dig through her bag and then pull out. She's like, "Ooh, I was told this was the most popular thing in uh, Arendelle." And she will pull out the uh, Extreme Teen Bible. Wait, what? What? The Extreme Teen Bible? Yes. yes. <laughs> I believe it was the only thing I let Sophie have like beforehand from her mom. <laughs> So oh yeah, I do. Book. Wow, that's that's a that's a great that, that that's a great book. <laughs> she just kind of like panicking. <laughs> uh, so, um, what's it like being a, a princess? Super suffocating, honestly. <laughs> I understand that she like can't breathe right now. She hasn't taken a single <laughs> breath. Oh my god. Um, she's gonna be like. I don't even know what to say. This is hilarious. So, uh, what's the secret about the kingdom you can't can't tell anyone else? <laughs> uh, well, I, I can't tell you. Or I'd have to kill you. But, oh, I heard you tell secrets at slumber parties. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Um, okay. Um, does it just has to be a secret of Arendelle or can it be my own secret? I guess it can, it can be a, any secret. Okay. Well, my dad has this plant in his room. And its name is Jarek, right? Uh, and it can speak because it's prolonged, you know, interaction with magic and stuff like that. And I taught it bad words. My dad doesn't know, but it swears sometimes and I'm the one who did it. Oh. I've never told anyone before. Oh. What? Wow. Okay, now you go. Oh, uh. Sometimes my teddy bear's eyes look at me and I don't know why. <laughs> That's not good. Do you think it's like a camera in there? I've heard people do that. Oh, I don't. I hope. You hope it is a camera? Uh, uh, um, I'm really tired. I should, <laughs> I should get to bed. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I, I guess you've had a really long day. I heard you guys training up there. It sounded really great. Um, okay, let's go to bed. <laughs> and she'll Wait, like... Unless you don't want to go to bed. In, in which case, I, I will stay up until you want to go to bed. No, no, it's okay. It's the first night on the road. I'm just a little excited um, and jittery, but I'll just go to sleep. It'll be fine. She lays down. <laughs> I just kind of like... Looks around, not not happy that this is happening. But like, <laughs> she like not has the other it. bed beside her. Oh no! Yeah, does she like... actually? <laughs> yeah, she does. Oh, oh, uh, okay. she just kind of goes over. <laughs> you know what else happens at girls' slumber parties? There is a vast age difference between these two. Pillow fight, just <laughs> deck Pillow Sophie. Pillow fight. So I don't even think Sylvie would be able to fight back. She, like, couldn't hit royalty, so she'd just, like, take pillow hits over and over again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> no, we can progress uh, to the next day. Well, I was... Wait, what, what about, about me? Oh, Chris, yeah, what about Marty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Come on, Chris! Oh, that was just a lie. It was funny. But, yeah. Like, I'm bored. I gotta go to the bathroom or something and get some fresh air. I'm gonna take a step outside. <laughs> I tie a rope to Chris. It's like, okay, Chris, you have 15 minutes, and I'm coming to get you. And I tie a rope around his ankle. I just immediately start running for the downstairs. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, how much rope do I have? I have, like, what, 50 like 50 feet? feet? Yeah, feet? so I think it can make it all the way down there. <laughs> I, I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, this, I only have the, the stairs are 40 kid. feet away. I don't think you can make it. These are the stairs to the downstairs. Oh. Wait, what? I remember this because this I is where wait, I think you go up. The stairs coming in. 
Yeah. I think oh, these that's are the, the back of the ship that go up, and then these are the stairs that go down. Oh, we've always been thinking this is where we come down. I think that's what happens, and that's why you come in at the back of the ship, or you come out. Oh, so at we the would back have all ship. seen the princess Sen earlier when we were. Well, you all down. rolled perception checks, but. Oh, so yeah. we, and we walked by. Oh. Essentially, yeah. I don't try to like make it not known that I'm running downstairs. Like I just, as soon as Malzahar is like, okay, <laughs> you've got 15 okay. minutes. I just full but sprint. That's not where the bathroom is. <laughs> <laughs> that's not where the bathroom is. Blah, 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 blah. I run down the stairs. I'll, I'll, yeah, uh, I'll let him. I let it go. I'm just gonna 15 okay, minutes. Lauren, uh, if yeah. anybody yeah. opens the door, Sophie's immediately casting hold person because she feels responsible for royalty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I burst over. through the door. Cast hold person. Uh, this is amazing. Be, I think it would be a wisdom save. Is that it? Uh, let me check really quick. Yeah. I think it is. Yep. Oh, I also throw well. Oh my gosh, I killed the princess. No, oh no. No, oh, no <laughs> Sylvie, no. I okay, have advantage because I'm a gnome. It doesn't matter. Oh, oh, oh. Why, why do you have plus <laughs> zero to wisdom? As I'm not wise? It's pretty <laughs> easy to figure that one out. Chris isn't that kind of a smart guy. Oh, no, I thought you were. He's charming, not smart. Okay, okay. <laughs> I burst through the door and immediately just. <laughs> uh, uh, Sylvie's gonna like, like as soon as that happens, she like sits up to cast it. But seeing it's only uh, Chris Peacock, she's just gonna release it. Yeah, Princess will sit up too and be like, "Oh my god, oh Chris, what are you doing here? I thought you were in bed with Mouse." <laughs> Whoa, definitely not in bed with Mouse. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. You should. Three minutes have passed. <laughs> Bar parking it on royalty in private chambers. <laughs> Sophie's like breaking down. Yeah, Sophie is right. We could have been changing. True. I wouldn't mind, but uh, I just want to make sure that Sophie's okay because she acts kind of strange around you. Sophie is sweating. She like she she's like <laughs> she looks like a machine that's like on its last legs, just barely <laughs> surviving. <laughs> Yeah, she has been perspiring quite a bit. I, uh, it's a rather uh, hot, hot ship. It's uh, just warm in here. It feels like it's been six minutes to Mel's. And I don't know if she has breathed in a while. Lips She's also blue. blue. So yeah. Sylvie's turning blue. S Sylvie, you are alright? Let's breathe, breathe. <laughs> I, I can't. I can't breathe the same air as royalty. Yes, you, yes can. you can. It's okay. Just in, in through the nose, out through the mouth. What if, what if... air's just air? Yeah. Okay, she does it because she was ordered to. <laughs> what if I don't look like royalty? Will that help? Mm, no. Do you want to go see Bales for a minute? Bales so if he runs out the door, been like <laughs> goes up to minutes. where Bales is. <laughs> Wait. She like finally breathes a sigh of relief and is just gonna go upstairs to where <laughs> Melzahar is. Perfect. Uh, I think that's the right staircase, right? Yeah, yeah. Wait, and I'm like, Sylphie, why aren't you with the prince? Oh, wait, oh, she hasn't entered yet. Oh, oh well, now, knock, she knocked first. She knocked first. Okay, I'm like, yes, come in. Oh wait, I go. Wait, oh, why is there? Oh, okay. Uh, uh we're switching rooms. What? I start pulling on the rope. <laughs> I just start pulling on the rope. Like, no, you don't, Chris. I'm like, so, and Princess, I, do you like, come here? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I was going to say make strength contested, but that's fine. Okay. I'm going to lose. <laughs> I, can, I can try to roll, but. If you hold on to a door frame, maybe. Maybe for a minute. Okay. Oh, oh god! Oh. Just straight up strength? Yeah. Okay, I'm trying to protect the princess right now. I think I should get an inspiration die. <laughs> <laughs> hey, if you want to battle inspirations, I got one. Oh, oh you mean from your bracers? <laughs> yeah, from my bracers! Okay. Uh, this is funny. You, it's not putting yourself in danger. Yeah, but 
Oh, God. I've, like, closed the door oh, on the, the rope so it can't pull me. The rope goes tight and I can't pull it? I, I start following the rope. <laughs> Just every step you I'm pull, like, you're like, where the fuck is this closer. going? Yeah, so you Chris have, like, closed the you have, like, door like, on him and a the little prince. Bit till I get there. And she's like, uh, I thought you were sleeping with Mel's tonight. I thought so. I was worried about Sylphie. Don't get me wrong. She's a good girl, but she, man, she loses her mind around people like you. I saw that. I understand now why my dad doesn't really go out into, well, the village looking like himself. Yeah, that's why I was talking about Brian earlier. Do you not know Brian? Oh, that's who you meant. I didn't know he went out as Brian still. You told me he stopped doing that. I told him to stop doing it too. <laughs> huh. I get to the door. Chris? <laughs> this isn't the bathroom! <laughs> I like, look at the door horrified. <laughs> back up. Get him back away from the door. <laughs> I start trying to I untie knock. my foot. <laughs> I knock. Princess, is everything okay? Yep, yeah, everything's fine. We're just talking. How are you? I'm I'm good. Uh, are you comfortable with him being in there? Oh, so far, yes. Okay, like I will. In? I'm fully clothed. No. Uh, okay. I'll I'll open the For door now. briefly. <laughs> and, oh, okay. I was gonna let it pass, Chris. I was gonna let you stay here, ass assuming you were gonna be the perfect gentleman. But no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought we had a sleepover. I thought that's what we did on adventures. Uh, do you want me to... Do you, would you like us all to bunk in the same room, Princess? I would very much like that. I you would gotta go do what the lady Sophie. laughs, man. All right. While that's happening, Sophie has grabbed this bedroll, and she's going up to the main deck, and she's going to try and sleep on the main deck. <laughs> Wait, what? She wants to sleep beneath the stars. That's pretty great. I'm surprised you don't want to sleep in the same bunk room as Malzahar. The princess is in there. Oh. She's assumed that you when you've all gone down to have a slumber party. So she's doing her own thing. Well, I'm gonna go look for Sylphie. Alone again. <laughs> she's taking his bed roll. <laughs> and she's I don't know, wherever wherever she comes up on deck. You're just gonna like put it near the side over here or something and just kind of lay there. <laughs> it's in the back corner. <laughs> That's pretty cute. I'm just looking up at the stars. Yeah. Uh, it is a very nice night out. You do see many stars in the sky. I like to imagine, like, the sails kind of get in the way a little bit, so she, like, controls them, makes everybody that's still controlling the ship panic. <laughs> <laughs> makes them move so you can see the star. Yeah, she's like, get out of oh, here, God. and the ship leans. <laughs> Wonderful. Miles is going to go look I, for you. Yeah, I assume I don't see Sylphie in here and I see a missing bedroll. Yep. Great. It's like, uh, I check this room. <laughs> Searching RP. <laughs> I, I move to the back and I do like a quick walkthrough of the, the cargo and I'm like, well, she didn't come down the stairs. And then I walk up to the deck and I start and I'm like, to, I assume I see the helmsman. I'm like, did you see Sylphie come by here? Or would I have seen her immediately as I came up? Because she was Pretty like, much like, yeah, you come up here, and so she is right in front sort of thing. All right. I'll go, and I'll be like, it is a gorgeous night tonight. That's right. It's that time. Wait, what's happening? <laughs> oh, well, uh, I'll, and I'll sit down next to Sylphie, and I'm like, well... It seems the princess wants us all to uh, stay in the same room, have a sleepover of oh. sorts. Oh no, I can't. I, I can't be in the same room. Sylphie, I know you're not the most comfortable amongst royalty, but she's just another person, just like me and Chris. Her father's literally blessed by a god. Wait, what? Or was uh, you? You know the story. You were there. Mal's legitimately does not remember this. I don't know if he didn't commit it to memory or what have you, but it is no. She carries 
way too many powerful lines of blood power. We can't. I can't. I'm going to sleep right here in this beautiful spot beneath the stars. The only thing missing is Bartholomew. Well, does he not? Did he not get on the ship? No, he's in. You he's left in, him in Arendelle. He, he travels around Arendelle now, selling shirts. That's the best line. <laughs> oh, ever. you mean this? And and then like I, I flash my like uh, Lexi Fox shirt that I was wearing for the day, covered it. It's drenched in sweat still. <laughs> oh yeah, that one. I like to yeah. imagine Bartholomew's also wearing one of the shirts. <laughs> oh, oh, for yeah. sure, yes. yes. Mm. Like the Eeyore-looking donkey. Just mm -hmm. Nice. That's uh, a picture right. we gotta draw. But so the the princess ordered us to go in the same room. Her well, anything she says is an order. Oh, she just. I could cover for you, room. Sylphie. Oh. If you if you don't feel comfortable, I can. I'll stay with you for another five minutes. I gotta make sure Chris doesn't try anything. But it's you know if you're not comfortable, you don't have to sleep down there with the princess. I'm sure she'll understand. You'll stay with me for five minutes. Well, you know, I can't leave Chris alone with her for too long, unfortunately. I'll just Sophie, make sure you're Sophie comfortable here. Sophie accepts this. She, like, sits next okay. to you, and then she's going to be like, hold person, and she just wraps her arms around you. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know that only lasts for, like, ten minutes, right? Or something. Wait, how long does it last? She's, she's, not, she's not casting the spell. One she minute. just said hold person. Hold person. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm like, oh, my. It just, yeah, I, I your shower it. occurs as she. <laughs> oh, fun. Five minutes. You said five minutes. You're not allowed to leave. You know you're my cousin, right? <laughs> <laughs> not in character. Stop making it personal. Yeah. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. She's innocent though when it comes uh, to this stuff. Yeah. How also, old is she? Like yes. 16? Yeah, but she's like super sheltered from like anything related yeah. to that. <laughs> okay. Also, I'm pissed you're not coming up for Thanksgiving, but I understand. Yeah, we couldn't. Yeah, I'm aware. Right. Uh, would uh, so, Chris yeah. like to talk with Tor at all for the five minutes? Or are you just gonna? Five minutes. They, they don't need to talk. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just joking. I'm just joking. <laughs> She's like, but I want to get to know you guys. That's the other reason, you know, I came along is to actually spend a little bit more time with you. And yeah. Well, Bells and Sylphie got something special going on. Oh, do they? That's adorable. It is pretty adorable if you watch them. The funny thing is that it's Malzahar who's shy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I can see that. The big, big strong ones. <laughs> Sylphie is very, very straightforward. <laughs> you see, I didn't. She was really nervous around me, and I wish she wasn't. It's something to do with, uh, you know, your royalty. Maybe maybe it's your antlers or something. I'm not sure. She touches her antlers and she's like, oh, well, I guess I did notice that not everybody had horns. It's the god bloodline. It's not a bad thing, though. You know, everyone's unique. You know, like, I, I'm short. And Bales is um, just incredibly buff. <laughs> I think that's his thing. <laughs> I I did notice that. He was quite sweaty earlier. I must say, it must have been a, a hard day. Yeah, he, he puts a lot of stress on himself. He needs to relax more often, but... I think Sylvie was ordering him around for a while, because she's like the captain right now. We tried to get her a hat and stuff. It was cool. Oh yeah, did, we, did I get a hat? Do I have a hat right now? Rathman says, we don't have extra hats on board. Is oh, Rathman wearing a hat? <laughs> no, yes. he's not, but Sophie is. <laughs> I, would, I would like to uh, slide a hand with Mage Hand Rathman's hat. All right, roll a sleight of hand. Got your hat. Yeah, uh, he crit failed, so yeah, you easily just swipe his hat. <laughs> he continues on his day. So yeah, Sylvie, Sylvie's uh, wearing the captain's hat very blatantly. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't notice for some reason. He's like, "Oh, where'd she get the hat?" <laughs> Wonderful. Um, so the five minutes can pass. Unless you want to do something. 
That no, oh, that was that would be all Sophie did. We just it, as soon as the five minutes passed, she would release reluctantly. <laughs> yeah, just her arms like ding can open up. Princess, maybe we should would... go up and be with them instead of making oh, no. them come to us. It's a little more um, what do we say? Um, like less controlling. You know, we'll do what they want to do instead of making them do it. You know, you want. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's really good uh, advice. Uh, yeah, let's go do that. And she grabs up a I'll bunch start, of blankets and stuff. I'll start heading down. I oh. assume I'll meet them on this deck. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. She, like, puts a bunch of pillows in Chris's hands. <laughs> one is huge to me. <laughs> <laughs> I carry one pillow. Where's my guy? <laughs> uh, He's up here. Laura, once uh, Malzahar leaves... Sylvie actually wants to do one other thing. Sure. Oh, God. Uh, she wants to cast fly and just go as far into the sky as she can above the boat. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> terrifying idea. <sighs> yeah. Uh, perfect. Oh, wait. Let me see if I accidentally burn the ship down while doing this. Yeah, I was like, you also get to burn Oh, my here. God. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> no, we're good. Cool. It's getting close. <laughs> yeah, so Miles, you come down uh, and they're coming up with a bunch of blankets and pillows. Like, hey, dude, you want to build a pillow fort? Or blanket fort? What do they call it? Blanket fort? I don't know. I don't know. What do they call it? This, this is, is my first, first time. <laughs> like a bed fort? Bed, bed fort. fort, yeah. Yeah. Let's make a bed fort. And we figured this way, Sophie would be out in the open, and I would be less controlling. Well, those are kind of strange words, but all right. <laughs> I mean, we're just going to be together because we want to be together. we we'll spend some time together. Hey, where is Sophie? <laughs> She's like, it's within 300 feet of the ship. She can't leave the 300 feet range. I realize I am muted, and I should have been talking that whole time. <laughs> it's Sylph, uh, Sylphie's actually just stargazing on the top deck. She'll come down when she's ready. How about we, I'll ush, and I start to usher them into the bunk room here on this desk, deck. Okay. And I give Chris, like, fucking a glare, and I do, like, the finger thing with, the, like, my eyes, his eyes, like, I'm watching you. <laughs> I like look behind me, all confused. Okay, and then I usher him in. Ladies first. Thank you. She's already yeah. in the room. <laughs> yep. Wonderful. Oh, 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 oh. Chris are oh, butting heads here. going to different beds. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. The princess has a bunch of blankets from the downstairs place as well, so she just like dumps them in the room, being like, "Blanket fort, bed fort." Crew's not gonna the cruise. <laughs> <laughs> like their beds are just gone right now, yeah. so you know, Couple pillows. that's that's great. Uh, and I'm like, sure, why not? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna explain this to the captain later. Okay, uh, yeah. I will participate in the building of a pillow blanket fort. Awesome. Everybody beds. roll me a d20. Who's participating okay. in the blanket fort? Sophie's flying through the sky, like, above the ship. What if you get lost? It's. I feel she, like... She's is it a clear night? Ship. Is there clouds? It was a clear night. I would describe the sky earlier. Ooh. <laughs> Mel's. Uh, Chris and... Princess Tora rolled the same roll, so they are going to mesh really well on the idea that they have for the blanket for it, and they're like building it together, being like, "Yes, yes, this is working, yes." And Mouse <laughs> is just like putting something up and it falls down, and then putting something up and it falls down, <laughs> and putting something up and it falls down, <laughs> kind of like trying to build a house of cards and just not working. Dope. Yeah, they do a really great job on the blanket for it, and then Mouse just sort of like he's like, "I'm in it too." <laughs> Definitely not the minister of infrastructure you know what i mean <laughs> oh we should get one of those that would have really helped the uh while well, having a burnable orphanage <laughs> it's 
good we can laugh about these things now. <laughs> Thankfully, no one was hurt during the uh, the fire. I am surprised well, there's well, no like fire definitely. fighters. Well, the uh, a lot of the infrastructure of Arendale um, was put in place by my grandfather, uh, and he, well, from how my dad tells it, he was a right bastard, um, and you know didn't put a lot of worth into protecting the. He had the the city segregated into tiers, and so the lower tiers and stuff didn't have you know firefighters or water really connection so we've recently upgraded them to having lots of fresh wells and stuff like that which i believe you guys used for the the fire but yeah firefighters huh that's a neat term yeah you know i've expressed a few times that i've got a lot of plans for this place if i become king but that's just another one of them you know a little tip of the iceberg <laughs> oh it's a great Actually, idea i really look forward to hearing more of it go ahead now Dora. Does the king have final say in everything, or is it still discussed amongst the council members? Uh, for large things, in order not to bog up the regulations and stuff like that, the council members are able to make decisions and uh, send money towards certain endeavors under them sort of thing. So, you know, a platoon of soldiers is paid for and set out by Rogan, and that way the king doesn't really need to. Um, for larger issues, um, such as affairs of the state, uh, it'll go to the king and the council members will discuss it together, yes. But he will usually get final say. Okay, it's just, you know, what if your next king, and I start looking at Chris, has many ideas that are not well planned out, would the council be able to stay his hand? Yes, I, w I would think so. We would hopefully... At least, you know, that's why you're all under training under the ministers to make informed decisions. But, um, yes, nothing would be able to go through if everybody didn't agree with it. There are multiple ways to stop such things. You know, they're they're the ones that still end up doing most of the paperwork. They just follow his rules. Rulings, sorry. I see. But who would who would say no to firefighters? Mazahar, they're like, they're like you, but they fight fire. <laughs> well, I... I would think that they're much more courageous than I am. And the, the I whole put my life on the city's line for there, show. Rita. But they're not there for the the glory of the spectacle. That they're oh, there my, to save I hope lives, not. <laughs> which is very admirable. I think it's all about the glory. You don't think it's glory to be the, the saviors, the the men with their feet I, on the ground? I think. People can take pride in almost anything they do, and they should if they do it well. Man, we fought a fire once together. You went in there. We did. You could be I did. fire chief. <laughs> I don't know about that. The arena, I, I think she'd grow uh, weary with my absence. She, eh? <laughs> do you have well... many women? <laughs> Princess, the arena is just one of uh, how do fuck? How do I put this? <laughs> Shit. Okay. Princess one of Tora. many mistresses. <laughs> she. She is but a passion of mine. Well, it's very good to have passions. This is true. Chris's passion, I believe, is for music, which is quite quite well done. I'm actually a huge fan, and I, like, gesture towards the shirt. <laughs> well, yeah, you want to hear a song? I would love one, and why didn't I get a t-shirt? Everyone's got to buy them. <laughs> I'll have to get one next Oh, time. wait, wait! I bought an extra one, right? You did, you did buy, buy two. One. I give it to the princess. <laughs> oh, Here, my princess. God. It's perfect. Done. Uh, yes, so, um... She squeals in glee and takes the shirt and puts it on. She's like, I'm so happy. You fool. Okay. You gave her a shirt with the picture of your rival's face on it. <laughs> yeah, but she's going to remember who gave it to her. <laughs> well. Actually, you know what I should have done? I should have just said, oh, I have an extra one. And then she'll just take it. Because eventually when you're in a relationship, they just take your shirts. I thought you were going to say I have an extra one, and then you strip the one off your back that's all sweaty. And that's what I thought you were going to say. 
Oh no. No, I'll give it to her. Mm, that would have been oh. sweat, baby. Oh, no. No, I'll give her the fresh one, obviously. By the way, I think Mal's is getting tired. Uh, so it's like he's gonna try and keep up with the conversation for the next four minutes and then he's gonna pass out. <laughs> I was gonna um did, Sophie, will you come down ever? <laughs> Oh, after when the 10 minutes is up, she's going to kind of like, she's like a feather falling slowly. She's going to like do that into her bed and then kind of roll over and look off the side and be like, she's going to just like grumble. Perhaps Tammy's not wrong about being free. And she just kind of closed her eyes. <laughs> incredibly dangerous. Yeah, that is incredibly dangerous. Perfect. So we can essentially fast track the rest of the night. You all nod off in your respective corners exhaustedly uh, and brightens a new day and that's where we can stop essentially for time we'll go over to the carzel map um you're a little over halfway to brie do rock oh, we're going to brie or sorry to rock sorry somebody said tornado to rock to rock can yeah, you smell you what the rock is cooking tonight <laughs> Very love, sweet love. <laughs> uh, but that's where we can stop it for the evening and we'll begin next time it's morning of the second day you're essentially set to arrive probably around five you'll get another like eight hours of training in if you would like nice and another encounter sweet that was a good I am session down. yeah yes. that was great I like Good how you gave me guys. an encounter as a fighter, a single encounter, and they were the weakest fucking enemies of all time, but you gave me an encounter. Matt, I'm okay with it. Matt kept telling me, give us a bunch of easy guys so that we can just demolish them. I had fun. I That's shot so it for the first time ever. It was, it was great. great. I also, also killed something energy. with vicious, with vicious mockery, <laughs> which is the first time it's ever dealt damage. Nice. Yeah, that was insane. Good job, everybody. I really, I really enjoyed Mal's reading Tammy's note. It was it was great. It was <laughs> him being like, wait, what? <laughs> She's crazy. I was worried I didn't do it. Like, I didn't read it the exact way she wanted. But then I'm like, wait, this is like. You're reading it like Mal's, Mal's interpretation. Yeah. Thanks yeah. for yeah. letting me speculate, guys. Of course. Yes. Yeah, no um, so, uh, yes. So Tammy, this was her or Sarah's sort of last session. She might sit down on a few more to listen in, but yeah. she's gone. And I have also asked um, Evan not to make another character. So he will not be joining as well. Bump, bump. Bump, bump, bump. Is that, yeah. is that just for now or is that like for the foreseeable future? For the foreseeable future. He might come in to be like an NPC every once in a while, but yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. And then Adam will probably be away until December, I think. Okay. So it's the three of you, the three amigos. Uh, do you want, like, if I have people that are interested in trying out D&D, &D, do you want me to send them your way as possible, like, one-off at some points? Maybe for now. I want to see if I can get, like, the timing down with you three and, like, kind of get mm -hmm. it speed up and the mechanics working. And if, if we switch over to a different platform, I'd rather it be, like, few people. Oh, that's true. That's fair. So for now, I'm happy with three. See if my brother okay. would want to join. <laughs> See Mikey. Oh my God, Mikey would. Okay, Lauren. I know you just said no, but <laughs> Mikey would be. Oh God. He's actually Terry. Ter oh, also, uh, the kids are Terry. Your mic's super muffled. Oh what? Sorry. Oh, oh was she? Oh, I thought she was there? trying to say something. Oh, uh, it was just on. It might have been like the no. back of us talking through. Well, I mean, I do have to say something. I mean, I love. First of all, I'm drunk. Pardon me. Second of all, I love all you guys, but I love Sylvie more. Like she's the only one that cared that Tammy left. Come on, <laughs> that was pretty cool. She tried to keep. They knew you for like two or three days. <laughs> I liked that. I only knew him for like a two days. I liked Malzahar's one line. I didn't really know you. All right. <laughs> Yeah, and then he gets to Chris's. Wow, this is a paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> Sylvie's is like twice the length. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, it's great. It was great having you here, Tammy. You were a lot of fun. Or Sarah. Sorry. Yes. Well, I could I could help. I'm always up for an NPC if you need me. Perfect. I got many yeah. NPCs now. <laughs>
All right, guys. I got a jet because I have another commitment. Uh -huh. um, is it New a World? Great session, though. No, it's not New World. It's not New World, it's not new world uh -huh. unfortunately. Um, I, we can discuss this next time, but the session after, so next session is the 17th. The next session after that is the 31st. Are you guys doing anything for Halloween? Uh, yes. Uh, not the Sunday. The Saturday I'm at a Halloween party, though. So yeah, I, think I think the Sunday I should still be fine. Sweet. I that's think we're fine. doing it on Saturday, too. Sweet. You guys doing a couple's costume? We might be uh, Gomez and Morticia Adams. Ooh. Uh, Maybe. It has been thrown in the we ring. Yes. I'm going to a party, like Dalton and his new wife now, FYI, uh, mm -hmm. Courtney. Yeah, it's, uh, her, they're getting invited. We don't know if they're going yet, but if they do, Lorianne had the idea of like a quadra couple costume. Oh my god. We'd goodness. go as the village people. <laughs> All right. Although whoever goes as like the chief, like the na like you know the Native American chief guy, that's probably just a no go. I'm guessing this time around, probably like probably they have not other a good year for it. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good year for it at all. Um, like so we have the cop, the construction worker. What are the other two? Like somebody could just be wearing an orange shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. That's actually not bad, and that that would actually be a good. Well, maybe it, it would still. I find people would probably still find a negative spin on it. Obviously, somehow. <laughs> somehow. Like, ugh. now I got to think yeah, of a new good. idea. Good to have you all there, though. Um, you've got your commitment. You're gotta go too, though. Yeah. So long. I'll yep. see you guys all in Bye. two weeks. Bye. 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 Bye, everybody. And the next question was the thirty-first. You said. There's the seventeenth, uh, and then the thirty-first. Yeah.